Hey there, everyone. It's Schismaweed. And I'm here to tell you, thank you for the 100, no, not 100, thank you for the 300 subscribers. The last time I checked it, it was actually at 301. So I just want to say thank you guys for that. Then now I do have to explain that this is not the 300 subscriber special video. Uh, every time I reach a new plateau right here on YouTube, I'm going to come up with a really cool thank you kind of video. This is not what this is, but I just want to come out the bat and say thank you just, just because. But what this video was actually about, kind of an update, if you will, on my channel. Because I haven't uploaded any video in probably over three weeks or more than that. I actually haven't done a live stream on my channel for over probably three or at least two weeks or so. And so... I've been getting some new subscribers, so I just want to, uh, you know, let the people know that have subscribed to my channel that I am not a dead channel, that yes, I do upload from time to time, and it might not be every single day because of some of the things that I'm going to be talking about in this video. But the first thing I want to talk about is the last time I did a live stream, I talked about the situation with my cat, how she was sick. She was not eating, she was not drinking, and I was really worried because I love my cat and I don't want nothing bad to happen to her. Of course, there's a really long story when it comes to this cat, and I don't want... She's actually right here, right underneath my feet. Matter of fact, if you want to take a look at her, this is it. This is the this is the cat right here that was sick, and, and she was actually... As you can tell, she's looking around feeling a lot better. She's eating, she's drinking, and I'm pretty sure she's going to the bathroom regularly like a cat should so what had happened was i don't exactly know what happened and i ended up coming up with a hundred dollars i had to take her to the vet and the thing is with the vet that i take her to the vet is very very expensive it's like sixty dollars just for an exam just to go into the vet so they can look at her to see if there's anything wrong with her and so if there's anything wrong with her if there's any kind of medicine or anything like that that needs to be done it's going to cost even extra. So I ended up spending about $92 when I went and took her to the vet. And they gave her some liquids. Um, I apparently, a certain, like, the way that they do it is they put, like, a little shot underneath their skin. And that kind of gives, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a liquid that absorbs through their organs and stuff in that, in that way. Uh, through their skin. It's, you know, it helps give them... Um, I don't want to say oxygen, but it helps give them like uh, like water, if you will, into their system if they're not drinking or eating. Anyway, that probably helped her out, but the, after that, about three or four days after that, she still was not eating or drinking. So I had to we we went and bought some cat food, and I st it was like some wet stuff. I stirred it up in the bowl, and I I had this little thing. Anyway. She's safe, she's eating, she's drinking again, so everything is all good. I took care of her, and the vet probably helped. So that part of, that part of the whole worry about, about my cat is, is done. So, and, but another good thing that had happened is between that time and now, I applied for several jobs out there, and I just so happened to get a job. I got me a job. I'm working at the grocery store. I'm working at the Dillon's grocery store. Now, they're spread out different, um, there's different um, styles of this store across the United States, and they're called different things. Like on the West Coast, I believe it's called King Supers. Um, in certain other places in the United States, they're called different, uh, like Kruger brands. It's the store that, that carries the Kruger brand. So in my area, it's called Dillon's. That's where I work. And for the last, actually tomorrow on Friday, uh, will be officially two weeks since I've worked there. And uh, I still haven't received any payment yet. That's right. I haven't received any goddamn payment for working there. And I asked them about it and they told me that uh, they usually mail out the first check. And if, if I'm correct, that the Kruger, main Kruger um, facility is located in Texas. So if the checks get written out from the employees from that location, then it's probably going to take a few days for, to get here. I actually haven't asked them who writes the checks. I don't know if somebody at the store writes the checks and they send them out. But anyway, regardless of all that, 
when I very first did the interview, I had them set up direct deposit so that way I can get my money directly deposited into my bank account. But they told me since I'm new, it's going to take at least two weeks, if not a little longer, for my direct deposit to get set up through the company. So I'm going to have to wait until I get my damn first check. Also, I went and did my taxes for 2022. And I'm going to be getting a decent amount of chunk of uh, money. Um, it's not over $1,000 or nothing like that. I think I'm going to get like $570 or something like that. It's very small. I only worked for like two months last year. So that's why I'm not getting very much money. Plus, I went to H&R Block to have them do my taxes for me. And they basically robbed me of $240 for even doing it. Of course, that's my fault because it was my decision to go to H&R Block to have them do my taxes. But again... I'm probably never going to go there again to ever do my taxes simply because it's so damn expensive. Um, they took every bit of my state taxes um, uh, just to pay the fees, and I still owe them a little bit more money. My state taxes was 216 and they took all that, and that immediately got deposited into my account. But it didn't. I didn't see a fucking dime of it because H&R Block took the shit. So I called them today find out what the hell the situation was because they said it would be, oh, about to be about eight to ten days before you see your money in your account. And I know when you do taxes, it usually takes a long time. But when I called them today, they said, oh, no, it's going to take eight to 21 days before you see your taxes. I was like, oh, you motherfuckers. I need this money. I ain't got much gas. We ain't got much food. I got to get back and forth to work and shit. Fucking sucks, man. Tell you what, man. I ain't never going to quit working a job if I ain't got no other source of income. Like, I learned my lesson, man. I definitely learned my lesson. Of course, one of the things that draw me to this job was I'm going to get paid every single week. And as soon as my direct deposit gets set up, as soon as that is done, I should be getting paid every Thursday or every Friday. I don't exactly know when the payout is supposed to be. But nonetheless, that's pretty much going to be the update video I meant to do this earlier today, but I just got sidetracked. I've been playing Red Dead Redemption on the 360 all day. It's been fucking snowing and sleeting outside, and hopefully, to, well, I know tomorrow the weather's supposed to be better. Sun's supposed to be shining. I don't have to go into work until about 1 a.m., or no, not 1 a.m., but 1, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So that should give it some time to dry up these roads. I have a rear-wheel drive vehicle. It's the only vehicle that we have. Um, it's my dad's vehicle, but he lets me drive it to get back and forth to work. So, yeah, that's pretty much going to be the update. Um, I know I still have this fucking cherry on my forehead, you know, almost like Gandhi. Yo, they say you dig fish, make you smart. Um, you know, it is what it is. That's pretty much going to be the end of this, uh, little update video. Um, I don't want to sit here and lie to you guys and say that I'm going to be streaming every night like I say I would do, but... I kind of want to play GTA 4 live on stream because I do notice that GTA videos do very well on my channel. And like I said, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I went and bought a 360. So I have an Xbox 360 so I can play GTA 4 the way it was intended to be played. But of course, the fact that I'm going to be playing it on YouTube, I'm going to have to turn the music down because of copyright issues but anyways it's getting kind of out of hand but anyway i want to go ahead and let you guys go so look forward to some videos from me in the future look forward to some more live streams um i don't exactly know when that's going to be because again i got to work from one o'clock to ten o'clock at night and by the time i get done i'm pretty much tired and wanting to go to bed any fucking way so um i'll see you guys the next video that i do don't know when that's going to be, but make sure you stick around because it's going to be something good because I'm going to be doing a 300 subscriber special video. So look forward to that. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. Make sure you hit the like button and make sure if you're new, subscribe because I will be uploading from time to time.